In this video, I'm going to show you how to build one of the best offenses in Madden 23 in less than a week, and that is um, kind of continuing in our series on this. We're going to be talking about power plays. Uh, I did a video on this the other day, and we're going to kind of continue the conversation today, and I think it's going to be helpful for you if you want to learn how to build an offense, you want to learn how to play offense better. You really want to learn this framework that I feel like is very helpful for thinking about offense and help, helpful for understanding how offense works. Now, today we're going to be in the New England Patriots playbook. I'm going to be taking a look at the U trips formation because I think U trips is one of the best offenses in the game. Now if you're watching this video and you want to get more tips for how to run a better U trips, make sure you get my entire U trips offensive ebook and the best way to get that is to join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It gets you access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is down in the description below. All right, guys, so I wanted to talk today about U-Trips, and I wanted to, talk, to specifically talk about how you can go about creating a power play. So again, a power play is very simple. It's We're going to have a play that we're going to have a very high success rate with. What is that play, and how are we going to make sure that it works well against pretty much anything that the defense is going to do? We need it to be able to beat man. We need it to be able to beat zone. We need it to be able to beat match. We need it to be able to beat the blitz, right? Um, and so that's where the U-Trips formation kind of comes in to focus and again a power play is something that you can run uh probably at least 70 to 80 percent of the game and you know that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to run it 70 to 80 percent of the game it just means that if you only had to run one play the majority of the game what would that play be for you and you might run u trips and you might watch somebody else that runs u trips and they might have a different power play but everybody has to have a bread and butter play and so answering that question i think is important and so to me out of U-Trips, if it was up to me, what would be my power play? It would be Y-Option Wheel. I think Y-Option Wheel is a very uh, difficult play to defend this year because of how good of a job it's going to do at attacking man coverage, zone coverage, and match coverage. So let's show you a really good setup. You don't need any abilities for this. You don't need any um, hot rod abilities whatsoever. So the play. So how we're going to set this up is we're going to put our tight end on a 5-yard out instead of a deep out route. We're going to flat DeAndre Hopkins, and we're just going to motion him across the formation. He's going to help us attack match and zone. We're going to snap it about right here. Now, if it's man coverage, we're going to beat man coverage to the flat really fast. What this is going to do is it's going to force them to at least potentially shade their man coverage outside. It's going to force them to do a lot of things. Now, if they're in press man, another thing that we have going for us is this route to George Pickens. Now, this route to George Pickens, if you put short out elite on him, he's going to light up, and if they're going to play press man, he's going to get over the top. Now, you might be asking, Cody, why are you using George Pickens over, say, Jalen Waddell? The reason I'm using George Pickens is because he's tall. Tall receivers in this game get much better animations on these routes than short players do. That's just the way it is this year. And it's really been the way it's been in Madden for a couple years. But what you'll see here is I can highball it. And generally speaking, he's going to catch the ball right there. He didn't because I think I freeformed a little too far out there. But generally speaking, if they're impressed man-to-man -man coverage and they don't have safety help over the top, we're going to score a touchdown or we're going to have a big play from our guy right there. Okay. So that takes press man-to-man -man coverage out of the equation, or at least it forces them to have to deep half over on that side, and they have to hard flat. So now we come over here to the opposite side, um, and I love plays that attack the entire field, which this play is going to do really well. So what you're going to see over here on the opposite side is you've got this post route. This post route is so good. It's one of the best, most powerful routes in all of Man 23. And as you can see right there, it's going to cook man. It's going to cook zone. It's going to be good against really anything that they do. Now, what they're going to do is if they stop taking their safety help over the top, now we've got our running back one-on-one -on -one with a uh, with the linebacker. And a lot of times what you can get is you can get these high ball animations uh, on these wheel routes. And I did a video on this before on the channel, so if you want to check that out, again, just head over to the channel. But what you're going to notice here is if they're in man-to-man -man coverage on me, this running back, once he cuts up field, I can high ball and free form it outside. Almost never will be intercepted. I don't think I've thrown a pick on it. Um, but what you get in terms of a reward for this is you're going to get your running back for a chance for a big play. And this is another way that we're going to attack match coverage, which I'll come back to match coverage in just a moment. Uh, but what you'll see here again, you just kind of snap it right about here. And then you're just going to freeform and highball up and out. And 
he might drop it like that. I've noticed that like faster running backs, obviously Cordell Patterson's not the best running back in the game, but just put a fast running back out there. Ideally, he's six foot two and higher. I think that's a really simple threshold this year. If you have a receiver that's six foot two or taller, um, I just noticed that they're going to get significantly better animations, and a lot of times he'll catch that pass. Now, I wanted to talk about match coverage as well. Um, if I were to go down here to cover for show two, I just want to show you uh, what this looks like. So if we run this same the same basic concept, and let's say that we're running match coverage, a lot of times what can happen is that right there where my running back just completely destroys the match coverage. And I said in the beginning, a power play is something that you can call consistently against man coverage, match coverage, and zone coverage that is going to give you a chance um, to have a level of consistency in your offense. And it did just that against match coverage. So now that just simply leaves zone coverage, right? Um, a couple things with this. If they're going to run zone, we're going to force them to play hard flats. With our out routes and our flat routes, we are going to be attacking the flats quick. This is also going to help us when we talk about attacking a zone blitz because now we have these quick reads to the flat on both sides. Now, if they decide to take away these flat reads, then what we can do is we can highball this wheel route right into that little seam and as you can see, that becomes a really good beater uh, for pretty much anything from a zone perspective. And then the last thing that I want to show you um, from a perspective of zone coverage is let's say that their user defender, let's say that their user defender decides, okay, I need to go guard the running back or I need to go guard, um, you know, the wheel route. Then what's going to happen is you're going to be able to, okay, that's taken away, that's taken away. And now I look to my post and there ain't nobody you know, there's not nobody within 10 yards of him. So this play right here really does break down 90% of coverages. Um, it's kind of the 80-20 rule. We can run this play 80% of the time and have success. This play is also going to account for the ability to beat probably 80 to 90% of the defenses that you're going to face online. And what's important with this play is you want to get really good at actually mastering your progressions on the play. If you can master your progressions on the play, the play becomes significantly more effective. So this is one of the best plays in the game from U-Trips. And I think that U-Trips is one of the best offenses in the the entire game so if the first and most important piece to any offense to have a dominant power play and U trips has just that so if you want to learn more about the U trips offense make sure that you join my patreon for just ten dollars and it'll get you access to all of my ebooks and all of our updates specifically out of U trips as well thanks for watching the video if you want to sign up for the patreon head down to the description and click the link down below